Now, another woman is accusing Donald Trump of unwanted sexual advances. An adult film actress says Trump kissed her and two other women on the lips without permission. He entered the room, he grabbed each of us tightly in a hug and kissed each one of us without asking permission. All of these liars will be sued after the election is over. It was probably the DNC and the Clinton campaign that put forward these liars with their fabricated stories. Nearly a dozen women have now accused Trump of unwanted sexual advances or sexual assault. Where is this going? He says he's going to sue these people. Why does Donald Trump, as may keep bringing this up at campaign well, he, stops? He's, he, he is enhancing this story, giving it another day, another week of life. The problem for Donald Trump is that 53 percent of the American electric people, people who can vote are women. And the gender gap between Hillary Clinton and himself is in excess of 30 points, and that's yeah. conservative. Women are going to deliver this election for Hillary Clinton. So he's not really expanding his base. He's not expanding it to new voters. He seems to be doubling down, drilling down on the voters he already has. Now he is threatening lawsuits. Do you think that will ever happen? My guess is they never will happen. I don't think they ever will happen. And I think, you know, for people who are supporters of Mr. Trump, this, this is meaningless. They're not going to look at this. This is not going to affect their vote. And uh, Clinton supporters are going to look at, uh, or sorry, Trump supporters are going to look at yeah. WikiLeaks and say, hey, this isn't going away either. Yeah, so, and why is it that WikiLeaks is not getting as much coverage as Donald Trump and the women? Because... <laughs> it's, Frankly, it's, it's, it's more sensational. Yeah, it I think. is. So it's, it's and, and I think Wiki Andy Leaks, brings it up over and over. WikiLeaks makes Hillary Clinton look sort of obnoxious, arrogant, snide. There's not so far yet a smoking gun. Yes, there's pay-to-play suggestions. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that makes her look like a political animal so here. So that it's is one good. of the things that we hear a lot from Republicans right. and from the Trump campaign. Why isn't there an equivalency? Why is there not equal coverage? Well, part of it is because what Donald Trump is saying is so sensational. So right. there I, it is. I, so, I agree with that. Well, moving on, Minnesota lawmakers are scrambling to figure out how to fix Minsure's skyrocketing premiums. Now, Republicans are using a major glitch in the Affordable Care Act to their advantage. Greg's plan to expand Obamacare would hurt our families. I would fight to stay in the Affordable Care Act. A terrible idea. Even Governor Dayton admits we're already getting crushed. The Affordable Care Act is no longer affordable. Well, 250,000 Minnesotans who buy insurance on the individual market face up to a 67% rate increase. Democratic and Republican lawmakers have promised a short-term fix if Governor Mark Dayton calls a special session. And the governor is proposing using surplus money to help lower premiums. What a mess. It is a mess, and I think it's a mess for Democrats. I think they have to own this. They keep trying to shift the blame here. I was at a Senate Democratic uh, news conference, and they tried to shift the blame on Republicans for, for not, you know, all these funding mechanisms. It's, it's the Democrats' problem, and I think they're scared, frankly, about the legislative races. Now, why would it be the Democrats alone that are at fault with this and not the Republicans? Neither side has really worked on this. Well, well I, let I, me rephrase that. They've worked on it, but they haven't come to a compromise. I think I think if you're one of the 98,000 people who doesn't get a tax credit, who's looking at twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars in premium yeah. with a thirteen thousand dollar deductible, you don't care. This is the system that you have, right. and you're facing so an it, emergency. It doesn't matter who's doing the fighting. Just stop it and get it fixed. But the fighting makes me think, Pat, that even getting this temporary Band-Aid fix will be awfully difficult. Yeah. And then this notion of being advanced by Minnesota legislators that Congress in Washington is going to have a permanent fix sometime in It ain't going to happen. I it ain't going to happen. Completely. So they have not been able to agree at the legislature on almost anything during the last year or two years. There's no reason to think that they're going to do it now, even though this appears to be, everybody says, a catastrophe and an emergency. And absolutely no reason to believe that Congress is going to fix this in 2017. Yeah, so we're going to watch this over the next couple of months for sure. Now, 